this is where I want to kind of slow down for a minute and 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 kind of walk you through. There's two different types of flows. Okay. So there are floaters and then there are runners. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. So a floater is more so off of two feet, Jay. Yes, sir. So so now, and I should have asked you this question before, but I want you to give me the honest answer. Your sweet spot shooting your floaters, are you shooting them off one or two? Or, or does it matter? It really depends on what the situation is. Like, if I get past my man, I'm going off one. If I, like, if I got him on my back or something like that and the defender doesn't really step up all the way, I shoot off two. There you go. Okay. So now, but those are two different shots, but it's based on the situation, like you said. Yes, sir. Does that make sense? So yes, sir. that floater is when you – going off two feet and you got to get all that power to be able to get that ball and float it over that defender. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. So the, the, the key to being able to make a floater is in your legs. You got me? Yes, sir. Because you're pushing off two feet. So you got to get a nice elevation and then once you get that nice elevation, all you got to do is just set that ball up there and they kind of balloon and go over and just drop right back in, right? Most people that even on the follow through, most times on the follow through on the floater, it's, it's, it's here. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Now, on a runner, it's literally what it is. It's a running layup. Those are the ones we shooting off one foot. And so, like you say, now once once you got an advantage on your defender and you want to get off the ground before they can time you, right? Because uh, you've blocked a couple shots in your time, right? Right, Jeff? Yes, sir. <laughs> right, okay. Now, what was the key to you blocking that shot? Timing it. Yeah. So we shooting that runner so that the that the defender cannot time our steps and our rhythm on that layup. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. That's why so many athletes now, that's that's why people practice the awkward layup, the right hand layup off the right foot or the left hand layup off the left foot. Right. So You want to gain an advantage on the defender, but it's so it's a running layup so that you can get off the ground quicker. That is literally when you get this concept. And after this call tomorrow, I want you to go and practice it. I want you to act like you're shooting a layup, but you're just letting the ball go further away than what you normally would. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. And if you watch Derrick Rose, that's his bread and butter shot, that runner, right? And he angles and, like, can shoot it from anywhere on the court, even almost a three-pointer, because it's literally the same technique as a layup. But now the follow-through on the runner – is a right is a even follow through right yes sir because the same way with your layup you may not set it there you may still have to follow through because you got to put the ball on the backboard right unless you finger roll but that follow through with that runner right is all the way over like gooseneck 